baby! Welcome back to another pack and play squad. Quick refresher of the rules. Rule number one, I cannot use the auction house. Every single player on this team must come from a pack or a set. Number two, every game that I win adds $75 to the bank and every playoff game that I win adds 100. And today is a very exciting episode. It is the first episode of pack and play where I am exclusively going for golden tickets. Last episode, I tried a little bit, but there are boosted odds right now to pull golden tickets as well as two gold 99 limiteds, Asante Samuel and Tyler Linderbaum. Now the golden tickets that are available, hilariously, there's a golden ticket, Zach Wilson. So that'd probably be my favorite pull, but probably not the best pull. There's Colin Johnson, who actually got a golden ticket in years past because he's super tall, six foot six wide receiver. There's Reggie Gilliam halfback, kind of a weird card. There's free safety Julius Peppers, who is incredible. So that's what we're looking for today. Now the bad news is I have zero dollars in the bank. I used everything last episode. Granted, last episode, I did get gold 99 Larry Fitzgerald, Richard Sherman, Dante Culpepper, Russ Grimm, Elton Jenkins, Chris Hinton. We got some crazy upgrades last episode, but unfortunately we have no money. I barely even have any training. So first things first, we got to go win a game. Now I did get those shiny upgrade tokens on our players. So here's what the offense looks like. We got Fitz with route tech, Chris Hinton with edge protector, Mark Andrews with red zone and tight end apprentice, Godwin with short and elite, Quinton Williams identifier, Russ Grimm with nasty streak post up, Sherman with backfield master grab and go, Culpepper dashing dead eye and pass lead elite, Terrell Rivas with short in elite. At defense, there's no significant adjustments other than Justin Jones, who I gave inside stuff, and Night Train Lane, who has shut down deep out zone KO and Crusher. We even went and got the shiny token for Charles Tillman so he could get pick artists for free. That's it. So all I need to do right now is go win a game. My opponent's team, he's got halfback Aaron Donald, Dr. Cocter, and he's got a sick gamer tag. I love this guy already. Dude, he's got Josh Dobbs at QB. What is this team? Aaron Donald. Donald halfback out to the right. Gets rocked by Night Train Lane. Dude, I almost have like a full out of position team. Kyle Pitts linebacker. Devontae Adams middle linebacker. He's going to be spamming Aaron Donald halfback, but no such luck thus far. Oh, he's going to go here, but I can't. Oh, I'm so nice. Larry Fitzgerald rocks him, pops the ball out, and he's going for it. Set in the blitz. I got to get over here. Devontae Adams. What a lurk. Richard Sherman, halfback's first ever touch. Let's see it. Okay, he's gonna go for six. Let's get it. Second and five. Oh, boy. All right, let's pass this ball. We got Culpepper now. Oh, and look at Larry Fitz on this scene. Don't you think Larry Fitz is wide open? There he is. Larry Fitz! Good catch! The high ball snag. First and 10, I want to keep feeding it to Sherman. I trust him. Ooh, it was a nice cut, but I'm not getting much out of him. I got to go into a different formation if I want to run the ball effectively. Let's try and pierce the middle here. We got good old linemen. We got really good old linemen. I should be able to do this. Oh, yeah. Good. Russ Grimm didn't even put up a fight. All right. Well, he's using the D lineman, so somebody should be open. Let's find out. Oh, right there. Damn. Russ Grimm getting bullied. We'll take our kick. We started with the turnover, so it's always exciting. Dr. Cocter comes out for another drive here. I think this is a handoff, so let's just go light this up. It is. Same right side handoff he ran before Aaron Donald. Just rocked Balabalu. This is most likely just a pass now. I don't think he'll go back to that. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, and it worked. It worked real well. Why does Aaron Donald look so small? You'd think he'd look gigantic. I mean, he's thick, though. You know, he's the thick guy. First and 10. I'm going to go with the man blitz here. That's a jet sweep. No? Yes, it is. Oh, get there. Bottled. Great defense. All right, second and 11. I'm guessing pass here. Oh, this might be like a screen. Oh, got to get there. No blood. Good hit. Third and two. Could get a big stop right here. All right, Kyle Pitts play underneath. Bosa play underneath. It's not going to be a run. Shit. They train. I feel like this is a run. I'm going to get on Larry Fitz and get ready for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! What a play! Larry Fitzgerald free safety is no joke at all. We literally are 100% sure he's passing. Oh, I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! <laughs> he threw such a shitty ball that I couldn't pick it off. He might go to 81. I got to flirt with it and then go to the other one. Oh, he's got a touchdown. <gasps> he missed his touchdown. Let's just get to the QB. Fourth and eight. Get to him! Let's go! Kyle Pitts! 
Pitts, linebacker. All right, now we can't come up empty-handed on this drive. We gotta go get a touchdown. I'm gonna send Andrews across the middle because this is man coverage. So I think Andrews, oh, that's not the best pass in the world. Second and inches, the two-minute warning is here. I'm actually just gonna hand this off to Sherman because I could milk this clock and score with no time left. That's probably the smartest football play. Ooh. Okay. All right. 10 yards for Sherman right there. Gonna let this clock tick. Sorry, Dr. Cockter. This is pack and play, baby. I, I need the money. I'm broke. Andrew Tate would not be proud. I'm gonna set Marky Mark underneath. Shit. That man coverage has got me good. Third and 17. All right. So we know it's man coverage. Let's see what's there. Ooh. Go, Culpepper. Come on. Get through him. He goes for the cut stick. It's fourth and five with 22 seconds left. I don't need another field goal. It's fourth and five. Richard Sherman is there. Great ball. Let's go down to the three. First and goal. I'm looking at Mark Andrews. Oh, he's there. Money. What a ball. Culpepper on the weak side delivers that. That's a hell of a ball. A 10 0. Come on. Let me see the rage quit. You know you want to. Dr. Cockter. First and 10. I don't really know what he could try for. Oh, no. That's so bad. I just guessed pass. He's going to break the first one for sure. Nice play. All right. He's got to go yard here. I hope you. Oh, I wish he had thrown that. That might have been a pick six Devontae Adams. One final pass. He's going to heave it up here. Okay. Goes over the middle. Gets rocked. Second half, baby. Let's get it. See if I get this snap off. I don't think so. No. First and 15. You know who hasn't gotten any love is Chris Godwin. Oh, I can't force it. I can't force it. I, I don't think that would have worked. Second and 15. In Mark Andrews is no. Mark Andrews just ran into, I think, Larry Fitzgerald. I don't know who he ran into, but that was a touchdown. I'm gonna go Larry Fitz. I don't know. Yes, got it. Another tough fourth down, though. Fourth and four. Let's just see what happens here. Go call Pepper. No, he had everything bottled. That was great defense. Damn. All right, I expect a run play. There it is. Everybody's there. Okay, good stop, good stop. Second and seven, a slip screen. <laughs> that was a ballsy, ballsy play call. Third and seven, what's he gonna go for here? He looks over the middle maybe to Aaron Donald. No, nobody's open. Nobody at all. <laughs> Let's go, great defense. Fourth and eight, we get the sack. Does he come out and kick the field goal? Fourth and eight, he's gonna look over here to the left side. He's got to, there's nothing there. He goes with Dobbs. I hit him, but just a little late. What a play. It's first and goal. He's definitely running it. Let's get on Larry Fitz. A stretch left or right. I think it's, oh, right up the middle. The boys are there, but not after Aaron Donald picks up two. Second and goal. Let's do the same thing. Let's just get up there and get ready. I'm gonna go on Palomalu here. He might pass. Oh, he does. And that's the exact guy that Palomalu was manned up on. Dude, ballsy play for my opponent. Pays off for him. It's gonna make it seven to 10. I took some big balls. I'm not gonna lie. All right, first and 10. I am putting a ton of man beater routes out there. And one of them's gonna get open to Rowe Revis. He's got a little more. Got the spin too. Hey, let's go. Come on, Cole Pepper. Let's show him what we're made of. I'm gonna put Fitz on a whip route. I think Fitz's whip route here might be the money. Ooh, it did get in front of him. I honestly don't know how that works, but it did. Second and three. Hey, we don't complain. We get yards and we do not complain. Staying in this play action. Look at... Revis and look at Culpepper dashing dead eye. I don't use dashing dead eye very often, but Culpepper had it for free. So I took it and it pays off right there. First and 10. I'm staying right in this. Let's see if he finds a way to stop it. Does he follow X? He won't follow X. Oh, under pressure. Couldn't get that one off. Okay. The run has been relatively effective. I don't think I should give up on it too early. That is crazy. How he just completely ignored that block is crazy. That's a gold 99 over there. I think this is man coverage, but I just can't tell. Oh, I got him. I got him, Larry Fitz. What a big play. Ooh, that's a huge play. Going into the fourth quarter with that. Because if I can get the touchdown, it's a two-possession ball game. I'll make things huge. Ooh, great run here out of Sherman. Taking us down to the 21. So I'm going to do it again. Let's go to Richard Sherman. He's got Jamal Charles, middle linebacker. Just follow your blocks. Ooh, Sherman. Looking a little beefy up there, third and one. Gronk, I need a good push out of you, buddy. This could determine the game right here if we can get this one. Third and one, an amazing push for my offensive line. Incredible push. We are in the driver's seat. Let's close this one out, boys. We're talking to the hot chick. We gave her our number already. She's ready to have sex with us. Now we just need to close. 
Second and nine. Down to the two-minute warning. I'm going to go with the stretch here. I'm going to cut this one up. Cut it back. Ooh, what a beautiful move. Clock continues to tick. No fumbles. No fumbles. Great work. It's second and goal. I'm going to go ball carrier conservative. You know what's funny is even if I don't get this, I think I go for it anyway and I make him go 96 yards, no timeouts for a touchdown. But let's try and get it first. Third and goal. He's bringing everybody down. I think I'm going to try and run this in with Culpepper. One second. We snap it. Culpepper! <laughs> oh my God. Oh, he's going to quit. Is that a rage quit? I don't know if I should count that rage quit. There's 44 seconds left. It's two possession game. Somehow I got a small egg from that though. So let's open this first while I contemplate whether that was a rage quit or not. The small egg has a 90 Michael Crabtree who will sell for 10,000 training. That's not bad at all. I'll take that. All right, the survey's in. We're counting that as a rage quit and I'm taking a pack. So for my rage quit, I'm opening this pro end game elite pack. Oh, that's not good. That might've been my 94 right there. That might not, ooh, just talking so highly of this. Oh, shit! What the fuck? Oh, my God. James Smith Williams. A gold 99 left end. Dude, by the way, guys, I'm actually a moron. I learned after last episode that you can use these remix coins on the 92 overalls to make them gold 99s. Shows you how much Madden I play. I, I, I'm actually a casual. This is so hilarious. Quick sold everybody else, put me up to 71,000 training. My current left end is 94 overall Mad Max Crosby. So this is actually a massive, massive upgrade. My only gripe with these gold 99s is they have no free abilities. Everything's discounted, which is nice, but I don't know. I'm such a snob. I'm so spoiled by the free abilities that I just, I can't be bothered to spend AP on an ability. We also earned a pro game day pack from the field pass. You never know when you'll randomly pull a golden ticket and some shit like this. 92 Patrick Willis, Jamal Williams, Anthony Nelson, Khalil Mack. Hey, that's a lot of training, actually. 40K. All right, so $75 in the bank. Technically, I should play another one. Once again, the $150 is the best value, but I want to go for golden tickets right now, so I'm just going to use the 75. It's not efficient, but I'm impatient. And now I got to decide what pack I'm going to get. There is the All Pro Star Fantasy pack, but it's almost all my Madden cash. You get one of two 94 plus and three of five 96 plus, but I think this is my most guaranteed way to upgrade my team. It's bold. Like, that's a lot of my cash. But I'm going for it. All pro star fantasy pack. We start out with a Redux! 98 picks! No way! Hey, amazing news. This is a 94 plus. Start out with a 98 overall. I didn't even know Kenny Pickett had a card. Compared to Culpepper, he's a little slower. Better accuracies. But keep in mind, Culpepper currently has that program boost. So Kenny Pickett is actually 96 speed. So Kenny Pickett is actually faster. All right, so first one is Kenny Pickett. Second one. No way, it's a gold 99 theme team remix. Oh my. Dude, dude, how is that possible? How out of every card in this game, how is that possible? This has happened on every pack and play episode. That's crazy. So technically I could get James Smith Williams quick sell him for the remix coins and use him on a 92 to make it a gold 99 or I take Kenny Pickett and sub him in and quick sell Culpepper. It's actually a really difficult decision to make but I'm not gonna lie I feel like it'd be hilarious to have Kenny Pickett at QB. So if he gets even halfway decent abilities I think I'm gonna rock Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett's abilities he gets past lead elite for zero. Yes. Oh fuck yeah Kenny Pickett's a dog. I'm taking Kenny Pickett! Oh! Golden Pickett! Yeah! Gold 99, Colin Johnson! The Golden Ticket! My first Golden Ticket of Madden 23 is Gold 99, Colin Johnson. Six foot six, he'll be 99 speed with the boost. 99 catching traffic, holy shit! Our second option is a free agent, 98 Tony Pollard. Our third option is probably a gold 99 remix. I already have you, Elton Jenkins. Good try, though. Our fourth option is a draft player. <laughs> My God, are you kidding me? Right now, I'm still leaning towards Colin Johnson. 99, 98, 99, 99. I get through. Oh my God, I get three picks. Shit. Okay, Pollard is really good. So I kind of leaning towards Pollard. Colin Johnson. I already have Jenkins, so I really can't do that. Anthony Richardson. I'd rather use Kenny Pickett. Fifth and final is a backyard baller. This is a predicament. So if I went with Elton Jenkins, I would have enough remix coins to fully gold 99, a player of my choice. So I'm going to go Colin Johnson, put him on the team. 
Elton Jenkins for the quick sell. And honestly, I could go Pollard and upgrade my halfback, but instead I could go Anthony Richardson and quick sell him for the training, which is what I'm going to do. So with that pack, we get a quarterback upgrade, a wide receiver upgrade, a gold 99 of my choice, and 350,000 training. Wow. I maintain 3,500 Madden Cash 2, but I'm going to bank that. I'm not going to use that 3,500 Madden Cash right now. Okay, so there's a week one and a week two fantasy pack. I honestly don't know what the difference is, but I have enough training to open these. So let's start here. So any single one of these cards, I could upgrade into a gold 99. I kind of want a tight end, low key. So Dallas Goddard would be sick. So tentatively, I'm going to grab Dallas Goddard. And now here's the week two pack. What do they got? So any of these could be a gold 99. I could do Cole Komet, T. Higgins, Milano. We could get gold 99. Javante Williams at halfback. Donald Parham would be glitched. Oh, Pacheco would be sick. This week two has way better players. This makes week one look stupid. Eric Dickerson? Holy shit, there's like infinite good options. Honestly, there's so many good options, but I'm gonna take Eric Dickerson. Now, the good news is if I pull more gold 99 remix players or I choose to quick sell the ones that I have, I can always get more of these. Like, I could quick sell James Smith Williams on my D-line right now. But here's how it works. So here's Dickerson already actually has really good stats, but I use remix coins to go here, even more to go here, even more to go here, and a remaining 3,000 to fully max him out. 98 speed, 96 excel, 98 truck, 98 juke, 99 break tackle. He gets tank for free, awesome ability, and he gets running back apprentice for one, so it's just a huge upgrade to Richard Sherman. I'm gonna quick sell Richard Sherman and take the training from it, which is 160,000. I'm putting Colin Johnson in the lineup, of course. I think I'm gonna have him be my primary. And I'm going to put Larry Fitzgerald at wide receiver three. I'm giving Colin Johnson short in elite and that's it. Culpepper comes out for Pickett and I'll quick sell Culpepper. Pickett I'm giving run and gun, pass lead elite and gunslinger. I'm also going to give him fearless because it's a combined two AP for all of that. God, that's so good. So now when we look at offense, it looks incredible, but Mark Andrews is my issue right now. He's my only tight end and then it goes down to Robert Tanyan. So I'd really like to get a gold 99 in there. It's either Parham or Kittle. I might go Kittle for the blocking. 550,000 training, and I'm gonna use all of my training on the training variety pack. I can get exactly 10. So we'll calculate the coins we get from it, as well as hopefully get a golden ticket. Yikes. 55,000 training for that. I wanna get at least like an end game elite pack out of this. Dude, this might be the last time I do TVPs on pack and play. These are bad, man. Second to last pack, 82 punter. Last time I do TVPs, I'm gonna learn my lesson the hard way. We do get a 95 Dexter Lawrence quick sells for 72,000, which will just get me one more TVP. That's cruel, actually. An 83 strong safety. 30,000 coins. That 550,000 training dissolved to 159,000 coins. No bueno. It does give me exactly enough though for two theme team remix packs. 78,000 times two would be 156,000. And I actually really like doing these packs now, now that I realize how valuable those theme team remix coins are. Because if I can pull a high overall here, number one, hey, that's amazing. Actually, 94 is great for this. I, I could earn enough to go ahead and get that big tight end. I need roughly 5,000 remix coins to full Fully gold 99 a player. So this remix pack here, Aiden Hutchinson, this one. Oh, no, no way, no way. Wait, what does he quick sell for? Wait a minute. Does he quick sell for coins? Oh, shit. And Asante Samuel, I love you. I've actually met Asante Samuel so many times. He's a great guy. In Madden though, a five foot 10 corner is a huge liability. Dude, I just pulled a fucking limited and I don't want it. I think I, I actually think I quick sell him for the coins and I use the coins to open packs. That's crazy. Oh, Asante Samuel, I'm so sorry, but I have to do this. Dude, those packs were insane. So I get another 350,000 coins to spend. We quick sell Hutch to get more remix coins. So 350,000 coins to spend now. I'm gonna take one pro end game elite pack because this is the best pack in the game right now. Um, Let's see if I can do a gold 99 again. I mean, why not? 94 Brunel. I really hope that's not my 94. That would be no good. 90. Oh, that's my 94 plus. 96 Michael Irvin. Another remix player. This one, 92 Dwayne Smoot. And Andre Reed. lots of legends. 166,000 training. We take Dwayne Smoot. I can do the eight times 94 plus theme team remix players since I have 3,500 cash. Uh, And that leaves me with not much left. These 
these could be gold 99s. They're all 94 plus, and I'll definitely have enough for another gold 99 on the end of this. This is perfect. I will be getting my gold 99 tight end. The question is, who? Yes! We might be getting more! Gold 99, Chris Hinton on the second. I'm gonna get two gold 99s, no question. I might get a middle linebacker. I might take Luke Keekley middle linebacker, low key. Devontae Adams is nice, but he's really weak when I go for hitting. 97 Trey, I 100% got two. Dude, these are cracked. This whole promo is actually so much better than I gave it credit for. I got to apologize, EA. I didn't watch your film. I wasn't familiar with your game here. Now, granted, EA, you need to do shit like this earlier in the year because nobody really plays anymore. That's when you're going to give us the good stuff? Come on, man. Come on. Either way, anything 97 or better at this point is incredible. I've already got a bunch of 94s and 97, and obviously the gold 99. This is my last one right here. Dude, I'm crap. I'm crap. I'm tempted to use this. I, I don't have a great fullback in right now. I'm gonna hang out to Ingold for a second. I may end up using him. All right, so we'll sell all these extras. Puts me at 10,000, so I can do two gold 99s as it stands. I was talking about doing Dallas Goddard, but now I'm definitely leaning towards George Kittle. So George Kittle and Luke Keekley, is that what we're gonna do here? Gold 99 Keekley. he'll have 99 speed when we're done with him. I'm giving him Lurker and Crusher, but it will cost one AP. That's a hell of a card. And lastly, George Kittle, who's a really good run blocking tight end. He's also fast, but he's not super tall like Donald Parham, but I still think he's gonna be amazing. We also save a little bit of AP because tight end apprentice is just zero here. Theme team remix has completely changed the dynamic of this team. We added gold 99 Dickerson, golden ticket Colin Johnson, gold 99 George Kittle, gold 99 Luke Keekley, gold 99 James Smith Williams, all in today's episode. Huge dubs. I've got lots of players to quick sell and lots of new players to use. I think if I can target something, I should be targeting linebackers. Kyle Pitts did play well, but he's not a true linebacker. Joey Bose is definitely outdated. Stephen Boyd is outdated. Cam Jordan is okay. Eric Armstead's okay. So both of those could get an upgrade as well. My center is definitely weak as well, but my backfield is literally damn near as good as it's gonna get. And so are my wide receivers, and now so are my tight ends. So those are really the only things I can work on, but that is a huge dub for the back and play squad. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Zero dollars in the bank as we leave this episode, but it was an amazing one. I love you, boys. Peace out.